Oh, hi. Um, welcome back to Brazen and Bold Productions. And today we're going to show you how to seal and paint uh, profound clay. Yeah, exactly. Now that we're ready to paint our uh, props or our sculpts, um, we need to seal it first. So three methods of sealing foam, which work well for me, uh, is I, uh, the first one is obviously just regular old wood glue. So you just brush it on, let it dry out completely, it's still flexible, and you can just start painting after the wood glue is dry completely. The second one is we use Epsilon sometimes for our profum, which gives a very, very um, smooth finish if you sand it afterwards. And it's very durable and very strong, but not everybody has access to Epsilon and it's pretty costly if you have a big uh, foam project. So another option is uh, Craftarium's own Flexi Paint, which they advertise as their own brush on Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is another option which works well for most prop builders, of course, but I included in this one because it's pretty much the same thing. Just this one is brush on and the other one is a spray can. So I tried this one in three different ways. I put it on directly. I thin it down with water because it's water based. So you can thin it down with water and the results very, 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 um, and the results very bad. God damn it. And it looks different. So this one is sealed with just wood glue, simple wood glue. And it takes about an hour to dry out too, if you want to be sure uh, to be safe. This one, I applied the flexi paint directly from the bottle to the sculpt. And as you can see, it's a bit, it's not very smooth. It doesn't get a, give a nice smooth finish. It looks a bit rough, but it works and it dries out in about two to three hours. Then this, the, the, the third option, oh, this one. This one, I thinned down the flexi paint with a bit of water and this worked out great. So I will definitely use this again. It, uh, it's easier to, to brush it on that way. And it only takes like an hour more to dry out. So it's not, it's not a significant dif difference. And as you can see, it's still soft. So it's still foam. It's still not rigid. And yeah, that's the Bokoblin head I was sculpted. Uh, I sculpted yesterday. And this is the one I'm gonna paint today, so you can see how we do that. And the horn is just uh, thin, where I thinned down the flexi paint very much, and it just barely covers it all. And I don't know, I don't think this is the viable option. I would suggest just thinning it down a little bit with water. So, two parts flexi paint to one part water, maybe. As Bob Ross said, every day is a good day when you paint. So in that spirit, let's get started. Since I I primed these already in black, I won't be needing a black primer underneath it. So I will just start uh, to brush on some brown, some umber, brown, burnt umber onto the foam directly. I think I'll leave the mouth area black. So I don't want any browns in there because it's gonna be hard to reach in there afterwards without spoiling the whole thing. Looks a bit like Lilo, uh, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, or Jojo when she's hungry, or when she's happy, or when she's mad. I'm sorry, I'm teasing her a little bit. I just wanna make her laugh and so you can hear her laughter in the video. But she's Finnish, so, so she's from Finland, not she's finished. It's not gonna be easy to make her laugh that much. So really guys, it's gonna be nothing special, but it's gonna be fine just for demonstrating purposes. Plus you're probably not gonna hear this because it's not gonna be an audio commentary as Josh just told me, but I just like to talk to the camera because I just love you to meet back so much. <laughs> we have a guest in the studio tonight. It's, his name is Fuck You Vivi. <laughs> He's a good friend of ours. He's squatted here many, many a times, and today he's back. Take some, some gold. That's a very bright gold. So just push it on. 
gently, softly. I'm gonna brush you gently. It's time. We're making happy family content, I know. That's why we always curse like pirates on our wall. When it comes to horns, I just um, like to go um, from dark to, to bright. And I start with darker parts of the brown, and then I just layer. You don't just go from one color to the next. You take a bit. You start with one color, then you mix in a bit of the next color, then you take just the next color, and you can do those in infinite steps. It's totally fine. Um, nobody's gonna judge you if you don't go into too many steps in between. But in my experience, it's good to to have a couple of steps just to give it that natural look. And as you see, it's starting to look like a nice horn. Um, you can just do it in one color if you if you want. It's, it's an obligation. I just like to. I just like this technique. And if you see me going over the whole thing a little bit, it's because I want to spread that bone color across in a thin way, so the color beneath is still visible. But I want that bone color to really connect with all the rest as well. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm just putting down some reddish brown just to get a nice skin tone going. And I will commit now. I will do the commitment. I am a committing guy. I am the person that will commit to a paint scheme now, which is always a bit of a a big step in a paint job because this one I just started out of, of curiosity and fun. I will go with the orange because I like orange it's I don't get to use very often. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet because I don't own a console for it. Neither the Wii U nor the Switch. And I wish I could play it, but spending upwards to 500 bucks for to play a Zelda game would be... First of all, it would be stupid as hell. And secondly, it would be not advisable at my, in my current financial situation. Might get in trouble with, you know, the landlord when they try to come and, and, and ask me to pay rent. And I need to tell them that I... I can't pay them rent this month, but I probably saved Hyrule from a lot of goblins. The uses of Profoam clay are very specific. You will not need this product for a lot of things, but when you need it, you will be glad that you have it. Because you have a very few things that you can do specifically with this, that you won't be able to do with other materials. And sculpting stuff out of foam clay and then in the end um, working on it like you would foam is something I can get really can get behind. So um, the painting process was fun. Um, as you can see our little bokoblin head turned out great and I hope you guys found this video interesting and I hope you learned something today and well I guess that's it. So I will not give a rating because that sucks. But I like the Pro from Clay for the few uses it has. It's really great. And it's not very costly, so you can pick it up for cheap and just try it out for yourselves. One more thing um, that you guys should know, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this, is yes, this is actually foam, so it's still soft. You can really bend it a little bit. It's, it's very flexible after curing and after painting still. And the nice thing about this, I can do this with it. FYI guys, um, these are the pieces after I threw them through the room, so yeah, it's a testament to what I said this stuff would do, it's great.